Hi folks, introducing the Hylink SW16A. You need to use the um, factory default mode and, and there's a blue LED flashing pretty rapidly. If it's not doing that, you can press the boot button here and hold it down, the boot ESO button, hold it down for about 8 seconds or so. It might change from slow flash, flashing to, the, to this rapid flashing here, that's, that's what you're after. And then you access the app uh, on the phone. As you can see, I've already downloaded it from the Google Play Store, SW16A. So we're going to press this button here and the app loads. But we need to add a device to uh, make this work. So this is the device I'm talking about here, this SW16A. And we're going to go to the right hand corner. Then you press add device. Okay, it recognizes devices. MAC address is 2860CDA3233D. So we're going to press the button and we connect to the Wi Fi network. You can give the device a name at the moment. 16, SW16A by default, but you can change it to anything you want. You can change it to, uh, you know, my own. And then confirm. Now my home is online. Okay, we're going to go to the next step. Here, press on this here. Now you can see I've pre-configured some of the uh, things I want to do with this SW16A relay board. I've got one of them hooked up already, it's called Desk Lamp. And as, as you can see, it's, I'm just using a cheap one metre extension cord, cut in the middle, and linked the phase wires into this end relay here. Now, let's hook up to the lamp. Um, it's, a, it's a Tui Bird from New Zealand. Go to this lamp. Let's turn this on. And then we go to again, this lamp off. Okay, we can go and turn all the relays at once and run. It's called all open. 